Hey everyone, this is Ben from Redline Design and Manufacturing. Today I'm going to talk about the Living Hinge, which is something that I saw on Pinoco and a couple of Etsy sites, and especially the Laser Cutter blog, where people have done some pretty cool things uh, by putting some parallel, close cut lines into something that's flat and stiff and made it curve. So I'm going to show you. Um, what I've made um, and then show you where the design files are so you can experiment for yourself. Alright, we'll show you the three different products that I've made and then I'll post a link for the design file at the end so you can take these files, modify them, print them out yourself um, or get them cut out of any material and experiment from there. So what we have here is uh, a reasonably wide uh, width between the parallel lines and a decent amount of overlap uh, between the lines themselves. Unfortunately, you don't get much curvature with something like this. You're not really going to be able to make anything that has any kind of curve with this kind of cut. Uh, one of the things I've noticed with all the Living Hinge products that I've seen out there is that things are very close together. So that's what we went with a width that was really one-fifth of the width of this product right here and a small amount of overlap just to see what we get so when we do that we get something that definitely curves this this uh, setup gives you a radius of curvature of about a half an inch and as you can see some pretty good flexibility um, so it's, that's a good good first start but if you want to get very flexible and get a much tighter radius of curvature, you want to have at least the same width here. Um, you probably don't need to go any skinnier, but when you increase this overlap, you really get some pretty dramatic um, decrease in the radius. Right now we're looking at about 3 16 inch uh, radius of curvature, and it does fun things like this. It's pretty floppy. so. Um, you can also fan it out, stretch it, um, do some pretty wild things with uh, what used to be a pretty uh, rigid piece of wood. So, hope that helps you in your design with living hinges. I know it definitely helped me in creating my products, which I hope you'll visit. And uh, If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to help. Thanks.